What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by EasyUS, and we're taking a look at their really awesome video editing software. So I went ahead and uh, tossed some footage onto my timeline, and of course, maybe I went ahead and added some music as well. So I'm simply going to go ahead and do this. You can also just click on a particular video that you want, and then hit that little plus button, and it'll drop it directly into the timeline. So this is some cool footage I shot in, of course, San Diego, which is really, really awesome. Now, what exactly can we do with this? Now there's some few basic options here. For example, we can go ahead and crop the video right on the spot. So if we want to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit, we can go ahead and do that. Really simple. So I'm going to maybe zoom in a tad bit. And then after that, we can also go ahead and zoom itself or turn it into a mosaic, which is a pretty interesting feature. So all you have to do is maybe go ahead and select a particular area of the video and then you hit add. And now I can just blur myself out, which can be kind of useful if you're, I don't know, making tutorials on the internet like I do. Next off, of course, we got ourselves a really interesting idea where you simply click a particular location on the video so this is my video right and let's say I want to like freeze it right here so I can go ahead and add a freeze frame and it will pause that little thing for just a few seconds so now when I go ahead and replay it it's gonna go and play as if it's perfectly normal so let's go and press space and then it'll freeze that particular frame and then after a second it'll start playing that frame all over again which is really really cool now what else can we do? Well, here's where the software gets pretty interesting and kind of custom. You see, they themselves give you a variety of things that you can go and add directly by dragging and dropping or hitting this plus. So for example, we got ourselves some cool title cards here, and if you download them, you can go ahead and use them directly all within your video, and they all download within a handful of seconds. So let's say I were to hit the plus, just like this. Now we have this little opener built directly onto our timeline. So when I go and end it, there you go. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and add in this one. We'll add in maybe this one and we will add in this one. I just want to quickly show you guys what kind of title cards we're looking at. Now these are very simple ones, but there's a few more stylish ones on here as well. So I'll hit this space bar. And this one kind of looks like a little triangle and it has a little, a little bit of a gradient going on. And you can of course go ahead and edit this. So I'm simply going to go ahead and double click on that and you can go mess with the gradient, the shadow, the texture, and of course the font itself. And they have a few billion fonts built directly into there. You can also go and move it around your timeline or of course go and resize it should you choose to do so. This doesn't actually look that bad. So I'm just going to hit OK and leave that there. Next off, our video looks OK. But you know what? What if we could go ahead and make it look a little bit scary or crazy or interesting, right? So let's click on this section. I'm going to go and simply drag a a sketch filter directly underneath this particular area and you can actually extend this so it's your entire video right now all of a sudden I'm able to go and add a full-fledged filter directly onto this video however it does need to quickly render that out so we're gonna let that happen and there you go just like that we have ourselves a transition card and of course a uh, sketch filter built directly out of this now with filters you can go really crazy for example we can add this dot matrix one so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and download that and I'm gonna simply go and hit add and just like that it will now go ahead and give you a preview of what it will potentially look like and then when you drag it onto a timeline it will actually show you what it looks like now now this one's a bit crazy but you know what the point still stands now what happens if I were to go ahead and double click on my video this part looks a bit wild but let's go to a normal section or a normal frame and let's see what types of effects we can mess with as you can see we can mess with the contrast on here we can up the saturation make it look a little bit like it's more on Mars than it already kind of is maybe up this a bit change the hue which I don't really want to mess with but you can make it a little bit redder if you want that looks kind of scary maybe a little less red highlights get rid of the highlights which might be a good idea since this has ocean in it and maybe off the shadow so we can see our footage and just like that we did some color correction and from here you can go ahead and mess with the background color as well along with the speed at which it's playing pretty freaking awesome now what else can we do we have our overlays on here and this basically adds an effect directly onto the video itself so what we can do is maybe toss this particular effect right on here I'm gonna hit the plus button and now we have a particle effect overlay built directly onto this so lot Logically speaking, we can have two things going on at once, and as you guys can see, we now have the dot effect and that particle effect going on at the same time, which looks kind of crazy, but you know what? Right here, it looks pretty awesome, and if you were to take a normal title card like this one and maybe position it over here somewhere, it would actually look absolutely amazing because that effect would go on top of that. And let's just, for the for kicks, let's go ahead and add this effect right here and see what this one would hypothetically look like. Um, also, the other thing I want to mention is you can combine effects. You can have as many as you want, and uh, I do want to mention that some of this is shot in 16 
16 by 9 so they do have an option for you know having your video open up in 16 by 9 but I thought I would do this just to show off all the effects and to the extent that they are they also have some simpler effects for example they have this overlay here where you know you're just simply adding a heart frame or something of those sorts and it just looks kind of cute now another thing I want to show you guys is we have this freeze frame over here right well what if we want to add a transition well you can go ahead and download types of transitions as well some of them are a bit crazy some of them are just really really cool and so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe add this transition right here and now when we were to hypothetically go ahead and play it it should play something with a transition wow that looks so much better than just a simple freeze frame so that's one way to go ahead and do that and they have dozens of transitions everything from flashes to uh, shifts to of course a push down I think we might want to go ahead and quickly download this one and maybe I'll toss it in over here right before our title sequence and see what that looks like all right and it will add it exactly where you place your uh, marker and okay not bad so it's gonna make a quick flash effect and that's gonna go to our title card let's try it one more time let's hit play pretty cool it's a cute transition if you ask me so yeah there's a billion transitions that you can go ahead and download uh, use the, maybe just download the ones that you're actually gonna use but if you're really feeling it you can go ahead and download all the different transitions that possibly imagine and I'll just go ahead and add it onto this particular thing so here you go here's a line effect for this and you know what that kind of works too Next off, I want to show you guys elements. So elements are a bit crazier. This is basically like particles directly on top of your footage and whatnot. And it will go ahead and give you a quick preview of what it will look like should you were to add it. And the reason this is useful is if you want to add quick effects directly to your videos. For example, let's say we want a countdown timer right before our video. Well, this is a really awesome to go ahead, way to go ahead and do that. So um, the other thing I want to say, uh, let's say I want to move this video over here and we want the countdown timer directly to my video. Well, then I would go ahead and add the countdown over here, add my 4K footage, and then after that I would go and add a transition between the two so they look really really awesome now which transition would I add I'm not really sure let's just download another one to test it out I'm thinking this one would look kind of crazy so I'm gonna go and add this one directly onto here go back to the beginning of my timeline and that looks absolutely insane but you know what it kind of works and I'm a fan of it so yeah that's what elements does it overlays something and if you mix it and match with a transition or maybe a filter it might look even cooler all right, so last but not least, they also have a variety of music, and I don't know if the music is the right word. It's more like kind of like sound effects and whatnot. So they have like the Chinese New Year, they have like a whale, they have like advertising, they have like a lot of stock music you can go and throw into your videos. So if you go ahead and get yourself the full version, you can go ahead and have all of this. Over the time being, it's kind of cool that it comes with a lot of music and whatnot. So go ahead and check it out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. So leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. All we're going to do now to get this video is to export, and they have MP4, AVI, WMV, MKV, MO and GIF files that you can also export as a audio or you can export directly onto all these platforms that's right you can export directly onto TikTok how cool is that thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off